Hey everybody, Krista Kitsuna here, and welcome back to Unturned. Um, now, it's been a while since we've actually played Unturned. Um, last time we did, I believe I was doing the Germany map. I did Hawaii, and then I did Germany, or vice versa. And this here is actually a player-created map. Um, this one here is called Overgrown 2. Uh, there's like a bunch of overgrown maps that this player created, and sorry, I forgot who did it. Um, this is overgrown on two. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure who did it, I'm sorry. But uh, it's on the Steam thing, on the Steam workshop. So basically, we are in this map, and I'm not quite sure where we are. Uh, so we got... This is our map, and we are right here. Uh, again, I'm guessing these green, or these, yeah, green, these blue areas can, uh, mean that things are safe. Uh, the hazmat factory, I'm guessing, and the de dead zone mean that they're bad areas, radioactive. Um, so you got a port here, military base, a um, bunch of other th things that haven't actually been mentioned, like here and over here. Uh, and there's something over here that has a question mark next to it. Uh, and something here on an island. So, um, I haven't actually explored a lot of this map. Uh, I have been on this map, but not extensively. I was, like, over in this area, I think, last time. Uh, so I just reset the map. So I have nothing. Um, as you can see in my inventory, I should say. I've got nothing, no clothes, no nothing. So I'm completely naked. Um, no weapons, no nothing. So we're just going to start surviving. Uh, it's on easy mode because I'm a, a pussy when it comes to like hard mode games or normal mode games. So we're just going to sneak by this uh, set of people here and look for some weapons. Um, I always like Unturned because it's <coughs> there's so many things that people have made on the workshop. Um, many different maps and whatnot. Uh, when I was playing this game with friends, uh, we would get a map from the workshop and play it, aside from the ones that are uh, already in the game, like updated with the game and whatnot. So it looks like we've got a hockey stick. So that's what we get to beat people with, is a hockey stick for now. At least until we find something a little bit more uh, deadly, like a knife or... I don't use guns in this game. And that is my biggest, like, thing that I always tell everybody. It's like, I don't use guns. If anything that I use that's long range is, um, like a bow and arrow, because at least that's silent, or like a crossbow or something. But I never use guns for obvious reasons. And the reason why I don't use guns is because they make noise. Unless you have, like, a silencer or something on that. But I'm usually a terrible shot anyway. So I usually end up wasting bullets more than anything. So giving me a gun is probably not a good idea. Bow and arrow. For some reason, I can do better with a bow and arrow than anything else. Like, if you give me a bow and arrow, like, I can pretty much headshot anything. Because I usually can sit there and be like, S the first shot is always the, the best. Like, if I have a good, clean shot, even with a gun, but when you get a gun, it's like one shot and anything that's nearby is going to come after you. So it's kind of like, damned if you do, damned. I mean, it might clear them out faster. Like, it might actually kill them more efficiently, like with one shot or whatever. But then you also got like a crap ton of other things on your ass as well. So like, unless there's two evils, I'd rather have just something like a hammer or axe or even a katana uh, to smack things with. So here's a grocery store that we can get a bunch of food from. Water, soda, juice. So this is the overgrown, like I said. So like you notice, like a lot of these things have like bushes and things 
or vines and whatnot over the windows and doors. But it's like it's not impassable. So like it's not hindering your uh, uh, ability to get through into different areas. So it's like you don't actually have to cut it through like with a machete or anything. So that's good. I remember when these maps had like a um, a degradable. I mean, I haven't seen it in any of the maps that I've done um, as of late. But like this stuff says it says a hundred percent, right? So I remember like back in the day when um, there was stuff that you could pick up that was lower in. I mean, I'm I'm sure like this stuff might start like degrading after a while but I was getting stuff that was like um, already low um, percentage like it was like lower than 50% or something like that so it was already on its way out <laughs> and you get sick and stuff from that kind of garbage I, I don't know if they actually took that out because it used to be um, in in just the regular game I guess uh, because this is easy mode um, it's not doesn't have that <laughs> I just now thought about that I'm like yeah I'm on easy mode so it probably doesn't have degradable food so that's probably why if it was on hard mode or even normal mode there would probably be food that was um, at different percentages be because of the fact of the the level difficulty level I, I didn't actually think about that because like I, I always usually just play this on normal mode but then I started playing on easy mode because I'm a big pussy um, I mean it's not really that hard just it, it's not scary I mean, like, I'm not playing it on easy because it's scary like this is not a scary game this is definitely not scary I mean it does get a little jump scary sometimes but it's not like a scary jump scare it just kind of like freaks you out a little bit but not in a scary way. I mean, it's it's just not scary. Um, but this game here, it's it's cute. It's fun. It's amusing. You know, when when you got all these zombos that are like cartoon and fun, funny looking, and you know, it's it's meant to be like a light-hearted kind of game. So it's not going to freak you out like some other game would. Ooh, gas can. Uh, um, I always want to get like a gas can or something because um, and these stupid ass zombies will actually come after you if you're trying to salvage something. Like they hear you ripping up clothing and they come after you. That's kind of bullshit, but whatever. Oh, and they also change this thing. Um, used to use used to click here to um, create things, but now you have to go all the way over here. So craft all, craft all. Um, they changed it to where you actually have to put it over at the end. But I mean, that's just that's just something that they updated. So I'm gonna grab some gas and then hopefully find like a car that has pretty decent gas in it already. And then use that. I mean, I came back to this game recently on my own. Only because I, I was looking for something to play. Like, I was bored one day and it was like, I need something that doesn't take a lot of concentration. And it's fun. But something that I know how to do. Like... I didn't want to start like a new game. I was playing Rift, as as you can see, like I posted that on um, the channel. Not like a whole series or anything on it. It was just me showing you the game um, at this at the point that I was at. But for for playing it, it it's okay. But I guess I'm kind of getting out of the MMO mood now, and I'm kind of like I really don't want. To, to play an MMO game right now, so it's kind of like, what do I what do I play? Um, I think I tried, I did play some Raft, 
Um, I was playing, I played that on the channel, but I played a little bit of it on my own because I wanted to um, see how the game progresses. Because after <clears throat> like a certain point, like what else is there? Um, spoiler alert, I guess. Um, I was actually playing the game on my own. Like I already have like a, a saved file of my own my own game, but then I have like the game that you know the game that I play for the channel. So I have both. I haven't been playing on the channel's one, but I have been playing on my own. And so I came across, um, there is actually a, uh, base kind of thing in the middle of the ocean. And you come across, I mean, we'll probably eventually come to it on the channel so you can actually see it. I took a picture of it, but, like, I couldn't really, um, like, get it on the, on the like a program or whatever. Like I couldn't copy copy the screen and like put it on anything. So I can't like say insert insert, insert picture here or anything like that. So sadly you don't get to see what it was that I found. But I'll try to describe it. Um, essentially, what it is, it's like kind of like you know, like like an oral thing, like out in the middle of the ocean. They have like all those. Um, like rooms and like a radio and all that kind of stuff. So essentially, it's like a bunch of like rooms. Um, that's got some stuff in it, like some scrap and some um, plastic and stuff. And you kind of like parkour your way up to the top. And as you parkour your way up to the top, the very top room is this. Like, it has a radio in it, but it's, like, it's not usable. So, it kind of makes no sense, like, why you couldn't just radio yourself um, help or something. Um, but what it is, it's, like, it's, like, a, a, an apocalyptic kind of thing. Um, because I got to the game, the, the top of the thing, and there was, like, a new, like, newspaper clippings there that said that the polar ice caps have melted and basically the reason why the world is nothing but water it's like the world is nothing but water and we are floating on the earth as it's as it is because of the flood like a massive earthwide flood and so there are some like these buildings or whatever that they're kind of like alien-ish looking buildings on this picture and then it says question like utopia question mark so they're acting like that is kind of like a sa safe place like that's that's the ultimate place you're supposed to get to is this utopia and you don't really know where it is um how you get to the base though is you um create a radio and you create three antennas and a battery. So you got the radio, you got the battery, you got um, uh, the antennas, you need three of them. And once you get to that point, you can f it, it will show up on the radar and then you just f follow the, um, the point. On the on the radar because it will actually show you where it is on the on the on the radar and you just follow where it's at and then you'll like come up to it and you anchor anchor yourself down and then you can um, basically go onto onto it and then get to the top do some parkour shit. <laughs> And once you get there, then you find out about the utopia. But it doesn't really tell you where it is. That's the only thing. It shows like like a a, gri a grid of like you know like the, you know like those grids that is like A B C D and then it's like across like top to, top down like A B C D 
top to bottom and then left to right is also a b c d so it's like a a grid system and like you pretty much like need a map to know like like what's a b c d and what's you know where you are in in con in connection with that particular grid system um so yeah i don't know where the utopia is exactly but i know it exists question mark so like that's the the next thing that you need to do in the game is find out where this utopia is and so we will get to that probably in the game that we're on because like right now we're like we're just starting so it's like we're not actually there yet uh but in future episodes we should be able to um find find the game and, and i just told you like the ultimate like get get to point in the game so i mean even if you we don't get to that point like we stop playing and and we never get to that point at least you know like what initially the ending is like i don't even know what the ending ending is myself because i haven't been to the ending ending like the ending ending is i'm guessing finding this utopia and i guess there's people there or something oh, i mean the way that it looked on the picture it looked like it was alien like made not human made because it's like these towers that just jut out they look like they're all glass or like blue like a blue substance that looks kind of like glass and it's like just they just jut out of the water there's like no landing places there doesn't look like there's any doors whatsoever they look they're just like kind of like monuments or something that are built into in from the water and there's like no way of getting into them so i i have no idea but at least it makes it kind of interesting because I was at the point where I was playing the game and I'm like, so what? Once you get the radio and whatnot, like, is that it? It's like that, that that's the end of the game. Like, you get a radio and you get uh, the antennas and then you, like, send out for help or something. But no, the radio is actually, like, a radar. And you use the radar to find out where this, this base thing is. And then it just leads you from, there's, like, no people on the base. So basically you go from the base to the utopia but where does that lead? And what happens after you get to the Utopia? Like, is this just gonna say, oh, these are not, this is nothing. You actually have to go find, whoa, what the fuck? Like, that zombie just disappeared. I'm like, I'm not making things, like, freaking out or anything. Like, oh, diving thing. Um, that zombie, like, actually fucking disappeared. <laughs> I was, like, walking towards him. What? Well, I was getting ready to walk towards the Zombo and it was like it just disappeared. <laughs> um, I actually need to heal myself so I'm gonna walk a little bit away from from here because uh, if they hear me making any sort of noise over here they're gonna come after me. Um, okay so I'm just gonna use this. Okay, so health is full. Grab some of this wa uh, energy drink, or sports drink, I should say, not energy drink. <clears throat> I mean, there's, like, a lot of stuff, like, crammed together in this whole area. Like, you see, like, all this stuff. Like, we're actually getting kind of close to the, the, this is a military base, but this thing here is, like, hazmat factory. So, like, if I went that way, I think, yeah. That would be the hazmat area, and everything would be dead over there, and we'd probably get radiated. And radiated. Um, oh, I'm still on. Yeah. Because usually you can tell, like, the hazmat sections, or anything that's like a dead zone. I don't think this is actually like a dead zone, but you can usually tell dead zones by the fact that there's dead trees everywhere. And you you're, you see a skull on the top of your thing, and it's like, you're going to die if you stay here. It looks like there's a helicopter. I haven't actually flown a plane in this game, or a helicopter. It's, it, it's kind of like, um, 
I haven't chan tried to try to do that yet. So I just got another gas can. So if I ever get a vehicle, I can actually maybe I'll try getting the helicopter. But we actually out of time. I think should be going off here. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're out of time actually for this, but I will save this particular game, uh, the Overgrown Two, and we'll come back to it again sometime maybe, and maybe I'll remember to actually like go on the helicopter when we come back. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, in this vote video here. Um, I actually like Unturned, and I like Unturned every so often, and I don't play it that often on the channel because I know, like, it does get kind of boring, and I, and I like, change the map, like, every time, too, so I guess that's kind of annoying after, like, you want to see me succeed and, like, actually get somewhere in the game, like, build a base, do this, do that, but, like, every time I, like, stop playing Unturned, and then I get back to doing Unturned, they've, like, updated it, so it's, like, new maps, new, you know, characters or, or weapons or vehicles or, or whatever so you usually it's just because it's a new map but like it's a new map so like I want to check it out so I never stay on the same map twice so like next time I, uh, but this is like a, a, a work steam workshop map so that won't change but I'm talking about like the actual in-game ones that come with the game so like when we went back to um go back to the to the thing, you like you have your list of maps, and <clears throat> when you go to single player, like I'm right here on the workshop one. So you got the Yukon expanded, Smiley Land, Deep Wood, Overgrown Two, Overgrown Three, but then the official maps. You got the PEI, Russia, Washington, the Yukon. Um, you also got Germany, which is one of the newer ones that they had. But PEI and Washington, those were like the first two ever and then they added the Yukon and then they added the Russia and, and then Germany and then you have the curated ones they have the Cypress survival I'm not sure what that is um, Greece which is a new one um, and Hawaii which is one of the ones that we did last time uh, and then you have like these other survival areas which are like kinda like PvP things but these ones here I mean they I like looking at curated ones oh and Overgrown is done by well, it doesn't actually give the description. Overgrown 3 doesn't tell me either. Well, because it's made by the same person, so I was thinking about hoping they would give a name or something, but they didn't. Okay, well, anyway, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed me playing um, Unturned again. Um, make it back to it again. I'm hoping that my snack crate comes tomorrow, or my Universal Yums comes tomorrow, so I have that to do on Tuesday for you. Um... That's it for me for today.